Hello, Mac here and for today we will be taking a closer look at Gundam 00's Gundam Virtue. One of the mobile suits of celestial beings. This mobile suit is piloted by Thierria Arde and here's the picture of him. Yeah, it is a he and not a she. Despite looking like a girl, it is indeed a man. <laughs> So, this is the box of Gundam Virtue, and as you can see, it has a nice box art, and this kit has been released on the year 2007. So, here's the Gundam Virtue snap build, with no customization whatsoever, and all I can say is that this HG kit is awesome. For a kit that was released on 2007. My only issue about this kit are the color correcting stickers. As you can see those on the legs those are color correcting stickers. Here on the cannon. It's a lot. <laughs> also at the back they are color correcting stickers. So it's not that good looking so let's move to the articulation of the head so it is on a ball joint so it does what a ball joint can do with limitations and the rotation because of the shoulder armor These two antennas here at the shoulder can move up and down, just like so. The cover of the chest here for the burst mode of the GN Bazooka can be open. Also here at the bottom. The shoulder armor here has an up and down movement and the arm moves this far up. It can rotate a 360 degree rotation. Also has a bicep swivel, a single jointed elbow and the wrist is on a ball joint. It also has an extra articulation here on the chest, as you can see. The waist is on a peg instead of a ball joint, so it's a little different from other HGs, I guess. And it can rotate a 360 degree rotation. So I don't know if what's more stable, ball joint or peg. So comment down below if for you it's the peg or if for you it's the ball joint. Front skirt has an up and down movement. Also the side skirt. And also I thought this was a magazine of some sort but Apparently it's not, so comment down below because I forgot on the anime. Oh, by the way, I just watched the season 1 of the Gundam Double so I'm not really familiar. And as usual, the back skirt is stationary. But it has a nice part separation with the color yellow instead of the color correcting stickers so the hips is on a universal joint though it cannot do some splits because it's kind of bulky <laughs> the legs can move this far up So it's pretty nice for a beefy leg. It has a tie swivel.
a double jointed knee though it's really not useful because of the legs it's so bulky so it's kind of not noticeable it has an up and down movement here and the feet is on a ball joint so the articulation that you expect on a ball joint the Gundam Virtue can do it that's it for the articulation now let's move on to the accessories of Gundam Virtue first is the GN bazooka so this bazooka has great part separation as you can see it has white gray dark brown and yellow plastic so this bazooka comes with a handle here that can move up and down and the main handle here can move outward also there's a handle at the top that moves up and down also and this handle the main handle here you can take it off and use it like a handgun here there's a hole here that you can place this handle just like that so in order for us to use this GN bazooka in burst mode first you need to open the barrel here and slide those yellow plastic inside both of them and equip it on Gundam Virtue's hand now it's in burst mode as you can see it is aligned to his chest this is the GN beam saber so I think this has to be one of the best and unique storage that I've seen on a Gundam regarding the beam saber of course because instead of the backpack or the forearm it is being stored inside the knees as you can see it's kind of difficult to see maybe I just have to take off the leg for a minute or not <laughs> so there you go I think it can be seen on the camera that's the beam saber handle so in order for you to get it you just have to take it off the knee just like that though the beam is kind of typical beam saber and the handle is kind of flat instead of the circles the circular beam handle Lee is the GN cannon a twin barrel beam cannon that is mounted on the left and right shoulder of the Gundam Virtue so I'm gonna take off this GN cannons for a closer review so here's the GN cannon as you can see 
it is with a color correcting stickers again. <laughs> So this has an extension here on the barrels. There's a peg here that you can extend. Just like that. Though it's kind of tight. So the beam cannon has an articulation because it is on a ball joint. It, it has a wide range of articulation. A full rotation here. It has an up and down movement. And forward and backward. Not only that, you can also equip this beam cannon on the hands of Gundam Virtue. In order to do that, there is a handle here at the bottom and you just have to pull it outward. <laughs> So it is now equipped on the hand of Gundam Virtue, so a very nice gimmick for the GN Beam Cannon. So we don't have any base adapter, so what we have is a hole underneath the crutch area. So first of all, you, you it has a panel that you need to take off and there's a hole <laughs> so that is it for the review of Gundam Double-O's Gundam Virtue and honestly I like this kit well the only downside are those color correcting stickers it really needs some attention and a lot of work. But regardless of that, this is an awesome kit. Come on. <laughs> Let's face it, he really looks like Baymax. And by the way, I just want to share that my Facebook account has been temporarily blocked on sharing my videos or blogs on the Facebook groups of Gundam and other toys that I'm a member of so there's no way that I can promote this channel or my blogs but screw it as long as there is one or two persons that still watches my blogs I'm still gonna do it so don't forget to like comment and subscribe for more out-of-the-box reviews of Gunplus and other stuff Collect toys and good memories. Thank you.